Hello, FBC Salinas. This is Pastor John coming to you with another edition of the Midweek Refresher video where I desire to do two things. Number one, provide you information. Number two, provide you inspiration in the middle of your week. Certainly hope your week is going well, and if not, may this video serve as a source of encouragement as well as a reminder that our God is with us, that he takes care of us, and that he will not fail us. So, hey, let's get right into the informational portion of this video, shall we? The first thing is this, the streets of Bethlehem. You've been hearing about it for the last number of weeks. Well, it has arrived, and so it starts this week, this Thursday from 6 to 8, goes through Sunday, uh, Sunday evening, 6 to 8, and we're looking forward to this event. It's been going on for 32 years, and we are excited about how God is going to use this event in a magnificent way in people's lives. And there's a real temptation for us to think that, oh, you know, we've been doing this for 32 years, nothing's gonna change. But let me tell you something, when God's story is getting out there, things change all the time. So we're looking forward to that. Be praying about this. It happens Thursday night, this Thursday from six to eight. Be praying, and if those of you that are volunteering, you know what you need to do. And so we look forward to how God is gonna use this event in a magnificent way this year through your life, touching other people's lives, no matter what you are doing. So that's the big announcement. The second announcement is this, is that December 16th, which is a week from this Saturday, we are going back to Closer Walk to celebrate with them Christmas, and we look forward to this opportunity. I invite you to get involved in this if you're interested in helping prepare the meal. Be here at one o'clock that afternoon, and then if you'd like to carpool down there with us, 2.30, we will meet here, and then we will be back to the church around five o'clock that afternoon. That's December 16th. On December 24th is Christmas Eve. I know you know that. But hey, our candlelight service happens at 6 p.m. that night. Looking forward to celebrating the arrival of Jesus Christ, the incarnation of Jesus Christ that evening. And so six o'clock in the sanctuary, it'll be a candlelight service. We hope you certainly can join us. If not, we'll have that service online as well. So that's predominantly it for the informational portion of this video. And for the inspirational portion, you'll notice this, that I'm at the manger scene, the manger scene at the streets of Bethlehem. And this is symbolic of what happened. And I was, as I was thinking about what to talk about when it comes to Streets of Bethlehem and this video this week, it hit me that Jesus Christ was placed into a manger. We have these words from Luke chapter two, verse 12 it says this, as the angel is talking to the shepherds, he says, this will be a sign to you you will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. So often we want to clean up this story. We want to make it look nice and neat and pretty. But we need to remember this. The manger was a feeding trough. It was a feeding trough for animals. It was a feeding trough that was filled with all types of stuff that animals eat and I would imagine it's not exactly the picturesque place for the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords to be put. And yet Jesus Christ was placed there. He was placed in a feeding trough where it was dirty, probably smelled, probably wasn't all that I mean I don't know of too many people that that when they have a newborn they'd like to say hey we don't have anywhere else to put him let's put him in a feeding trough put her in a feeding trough I don't think that happens but yet it's symbolic is it not that Jesus Christ left the grandeur the glory the magnificentness the majesticness of heaven and was placed in a dirty, filthy feeding trough. Let that sink in. He was placed there because it, I believe it is symbolic of, of Jesus Christ leaving glory and coming into the mess of our lives, the dirt of our lives, the ickiness of our lives. And he started from day one in that feeding trough. And the other thing that occurred to me was this, was that he was placed in a feeding truck and little did people know that evening that this baby that was placed 
in a feeding trough would one day feed upwards of 12 to 13,000 people with five loaves and two fish. You see, this baby grew. This baby grew, and as he grew, we're told this later on in Luke, that he grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and humanity. You see, Jesus Christ was placed in a feeding trough, not to stay in the feeding trough, but to grow and to then provide you and me the bread of life himself. You see, that's the beauty of Christmas, was that the story starts here, and the story continues on as Jesus Christ rescues us, enters into our dirtiness, enters into our ickiness, and says, I came to provide you what you need in life, because I am the bread of life. I came to rescue you. So as we celebrate streets, as we pray about streets, as we present the gospel of Jesus Christ to people in these next number of days, may we be mindful that yes, it starts in a feeding trough, but yet Jesus Christ didn't stay in that feeding trough. He lived and he gave us life everlasting because he feeds us with himself being the bread of life, the one we desperately need. So let's celebrate that and let's celebrate the incarnation of Jesus Christ and may we celebrate it with passion, with joy and, and a reminder that our God loves us so much that he became one of us and was placed in a feeding trough, a manger, so that he fully understands what it's like to be one of us. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And I hope you and I and you and me, all of us, enjoy the reality that Jesus Christ came, Emmanuel, God with us, and he will not let us down. God bless you. Have a great rest of the day and a great rest of the week. We'll talk to you later.